what progress uh, the nation india has made when it comes to the various um you know diseases or uh, the problems that torment us so if you see here childhood stunting is um, of course something that uh, is on course however anemia uh, is there is no progress and it is in fact worsening and anemia is of course not just caused by iron deficiency it is caused by vitamin b12 deficiency folate deficiency but uh, there's not much progress happening on that front uh, again if you see low birth weight uh, we do not have data there childhood overweight is um, it's it's good that it's on course um exclusive breastfeeding is again on course uh childhood wasting again there is no progress or it is in fact worsening uh sodium intake in men um and women is of course um raised blood pressure in women again is not being tackled raised raised blood pressure in men is not being handled obesity in women and men is not being taken care of diabetes in men and women is not being taken care of um so yes i think india needs um uh, you know like this driving force where steps are really being taken to improve um you know what we are aiming for to improve for the better health of the entire nation okay and like we all know that prevention is better than cure but uh, we need to know where exactly we need to step in and how things need to go in the right way okay um so coming to firstly what is the problem when it when it comes to food right so the number one thing is ultra processed foods now let's say if you're in a country like uh, let's say if in a city like mumbai or delhi uh, or bangalore like in a very fast in a metropolitan city you often find that you know you're commuting most of the time um, to reach to or to, to reach to work or uh, to meet your friends or to socialize and because of that a lot of time just goes up in commute just goes into commuting and because of that you know you do tend to get hungry because of course you're spending all of that energy and you need something to fuel yourself and what's something that you rely on you go buy a packet of chips or you just buy some dumpling or um some biscuits to fill you up right now those are of course ultra processed foods so we all know for a fact that you know those are not supposed to be consumed but we'll we really left with no choice when you know you're just super hungry and you're on the move and you just need to put something uh, to fuel yourself and uh, by ultra processed foods it's not just the packaged foods i'm talking about so it's also your um, street side foods so your vada pav your um, chaat items you know anything for that matter uh, also Uh, contributes to uh, you know the whole umbrella of processed foods so yes processing to an extent is of course uh, we do it on a daily basis for example when you're cooking as well that's also um, a way to process food so i'm not talking about uh, the processing that goes on there if you're like making an idli or dosa batter that's also you're also fermenting it which is also a form of processing so i'm not talking about that but i get but i think you get the point um, that i'm making when i say uh, that you know these ultra processed foods which have you know which are like your packaged foods basically that contain more than five ingredients so those are termed as ultra processed foods and of course these contain a lot of preservatives emulsifiers a lot of added sugar they are high in sodium uh, they also contain partially hydrogenated oils and then of course um, trans fat which is one of the biggest um, you know contributor to um, heart disease beyond other factors as well so it is these that we need to watch out for uh, now like i said we all know for a fact that these foods are not particularly good for us um, but why is it that you know we have these foods you know why, why is it that we go and reach out for these foods um and sometimes we don't even tend to realize but we eat these even though we're not particularly hungry um and we're just eating out of boredom or you know just to uh, feel better feel a little better if you're feeling low right so what happens is that you know you see an ad for like um a packet of chips and they present it to you in a in a very um fascinating way saying that you know this is super crunchy and it's flavorful and um if they could possibly go on to say that it's high in protein you know just to entice you to buy their product 
but in fact uh, what what these manufacturers are trying to do is in fact they are trying to do something called subliminal advertising so even though um, you take out um, you know your phone to watch something on youtube and you come across an ad for a packet of chips or you're just watching television and you see the same advertisement um, it's not going to cause you to have that um, packet of chips just go down and just get a packet of chips from your kirana store but what's going to happen is um, at a point when you're feeling a little low or when you feel like you're craving something salty you're just going to rush down and get that packet of chips so it's created that very subliminal um, effect in your mind where immediately you do not seek to have it you not you do not have start to have a craving right when you see an advertisement um but it creates a subliminal effect that later on in the day or after a few hours you feel that you need something that's possibly high in fat or high in salt or sugar for that matter okay um so these ultra processed foods now how do they harm your health of course they cause a lot of uh, they wreak havoc on your system uh, but i'm not saying that you completely give up on these of course uh, you know it um uh, it is totally okay if you have them like once in a month or so right but what happens is that like attaining good health even attaining bad health happens consistently so it's a matter of you know um having these foods you know consistently over a period of time it causes a lot of um havoc in your body and what it does is it disrupts your gut microbiome which further leads to inflammation it weakens your immune system it impairs your digestion and it also contributes to weight gain eventually and of course um, you know it's it's doing more damage than you can visibly see like visibly you might you know today i have um, a packet of chips and tomorrow i might see that okay i will possibly have a, a few pimples on my face but um, of course I, i'm also trying i'm also putting on weight as a result my gut microbiome is going haywire and there's inflammation that i cannot possibly see um in the middle right so it's all happening in the body okay so this was a study done um where the participants were given uh, there there were two sets of participants one set was given an ultra processed diet and the other was given an unprocessed uh, plant based uh, not not just plant based um, a regular diet which was having no processed foods Uh, so here what they noticed was that um the people who were on the ultra processed diet eventually they of course um their calorie intake did increase because of course these foods are high calorie foods high in um, sugar fat uh, and salt and um, of course when um, when they were on the ultra processed diet as well their weight also increased uh, as a result of it